Joining us now is Dr. Chaim Weitzman, an Israeli relations specialist, and he is here to discuss the future of the United States relations in the Middle East, especially with Israel. Thanks so much for coming in. It's a pleasure. So to begin, <laughs> let's talk about the Iranian nuclear deal, which is on everybody's minds. Trump has voiced his concerns over the agreement, calling it one of the worst deals to be made in the history of the United States. And Many Americans, especially the U.S. ambassador to Israel, are concerned that he will now reverse the deal. Is that something that we can expect to happen during his presidency? No. He can't do it. He's not the only partner there. He has other mid-sized superpowers. He has other large superpowers as his partners there. And what happens if he revokes the, the, the agreement? Iran may go being a nuclear country in almost no time. Uh, so he won't revoke the, the agreement, he won't do anything about it. He, I hope he will do his best to prevent uh, Iran from becoming a nuclear country in eight years. Coincides with his end of term if he is re-elected. So, yes, he does have a role there, but he cannot revoke it. Now, how do you think Trump's foreign policy in the Middle East will affect Israel, it's in you know, specific respect to Syria, Iran, Saudi Arabia, and the Palestinian Authority? The question is, how much importance will the United States under President Trump will attribute to the Middle East? Apparently, the United States is almost or already independent in terms of energy. So they don't need the oil from the uh, Middle East. And Mr. Trump already expressed his views that he doesn't want to stay in close relationship with Saudi Arabia, for example, and, and provide them with weapon and so on and so forth. So if the United States loses its interest in the Middle East, it will affect Israel. On the other hand, if they stay uh, with interest in, in, the, in the Middle East, he may try to push Israel to make some concessions in order to promote the peace or the uh, negotiations, at least, towards peace. So depends on, on, on the interest of the United States. In Syria, it is very, very difficult right now because Russia is already there. The United States will not engage in fight with Russia. So they will have to come to an agreement with Russia who does what. And maybe they will leave West Syria to the Russians and concern on the, concentrate on the eastern part, Araka and so on of Syria. Now, over the last eight years, many have questioned the relationship between Barack Obama and America's commitment to Israel, especially because of his relationship with the prime minister here in Israel. Is there hope that there will be a stronger bilateral connection between the United States and Israel under a Trump presidency? First of all, we have to remember that under uh, Obama's presidency, Israel received weapon and other military equipment uh, more than in any other ter uh, term, and the, more than in, under any other president. So, and, and we just signed with the Americans under President Obama the 10-year agreement. So I don't know. I mean, Mr. Trump said that he will demand money for the weapon he sends. And he didn't say he won't do it with Israel. So he may, if he, if he act on his word, he may say, OK, I will continue to provide you with weapon and, and military equipment, but you will have to pay for it. So we don't know. Now, people tend to say that uh, under uh, Republican president, the relationship are more warm or warmer or closer or whatever, there is no basis for it. 
the relationship with uh, President Clinton were the best we, we could expect. And uh, the relationship with uh, President George W. Bush were very good. However, George W. Bush was the one who insisted on having elections in the Palestinian Authority and brought Hamas to power. So that's something it's to keep in too mind. Early to, to, to define. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming in, Dr. Weitzman, and uh, we'll just have to see what happens. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Thank you very much.